Hello. This video will examine how to put outside borders on files in Photoshop. Single, double, triple borders will be explored here and at the end we'll look at uh, a border a hack or shortcut to creating outside borders on images. You can see I have a nice photograph here of Utah a student took but before we add a border to that it's always important to first create a canvas or a document that is the size that we want to work with so before we just put a border on this photograph we're going to create a canvas that's the size that we'd like for printing or for use digitally let's create a document in Photoshop for this photograph that is five inches by seven inches so to do that, first I'll go up to File, New. I'll change my measurement to inches. My width to 7 and my height to 5. And I'll change the resolution to, you know, we'll go with 200 for this photograph. So here's my 200 resolution, 5 by 7 or 7 by 5. I'm going to zoom out of that. To make the transformation easier click on my photograph I'll hit command a to select it all command C to copy it and then command V to paste it into the 5x7 you can see this photograph is high resolution it's much larger than the 5x7 so I'll hit command T to free transform it and from a corner I will transform this thing and I'll leave it overlapping the edges of my template or my 5x7 document by just a little bit. I'll hit the move tool to accept. And now we'll work with this photograph. So the first thing I'll do is I'll you'll notice. So the first thing we can notice are our two layers here. And I'm going to flatten or compress these layers and you'll notice there's going to be a lot of that going on uh, in this exercise in creating outside borders so I'm going to go up to the little hamburger up here and I'm going to click on it and I'll go to flatten image and you'll notice the two layers become one the next thing I'll do is make a copy of this layer by hitting command J I'll go into FX blending options and slide this layer style menu to the right so I can see the photograph I'll click on the word stroke you can almost immediately see the border around the outside edge notice the position is centered an inside border would bring it in further an outside border wouldn't be visible so I'm going to choose center I'm going to choose the color black I'll bring it up to 100. And we can see what it would look like. And we could save it if we wanted. So I'm going to hit the trash can and delete that layer with the border on it. And walk through the process again. This time we'll do a double border. I'll hit Command J to duplicate the layer. Click on the new layer. Go to FX. Click on Blending Options. In the layer style menu, I'll click the word stroke. I'm going to back this off a little bit. I'm going to make the color white and back it off to something that's easily divisible by two in order to do a two, two color border. Let's see. I'm going to go with 80. So I've got a white border that's 80 from the center and I'll click OK. And now what I'd like to do is put a black border around the farthest outside edge and kind of have that white border hugging the photograph and a black border around the outside edge. The black border will help as a cut guide. If we're cutting this from paper, a white border won't do a whole lot to give us any type of guide when we're cutting. So I'm going to put a black border around the outside edge. Before we can do that, before I can do that, I need to go up and flatten the image again. I'll click the hamburger. And go to flatten image same set of steps I'll hit command J to duplicate the layer I'll go to FX blending options I'll click on the word 
stroke that'll give me the options if I didn't click on the word I wouldn't get the the stroke options like I have here my last border was 80 so I'm gonna cut this one in half to 40 I'm gonna change the color to black and you'll notice that black border now around the outside edge I'll click OK I'll flatten it one last time and then I can go to file save as and I can save this as Utah framed if I want I can save it as a Photoshop file a PDF I'll save it as a PDF and save it out to my desktop okay so there's a double border on an image in Photoshop using the blending options style stroke one more last uh, way to do this which is which we'll call a shortcut or a hack what I'll do here is this I'll go grab the brush tool paintbrush and I'll grab a, a green just so it can be seen more easily and paint this out so now I've painted this and I'm going to do the same series of things here. I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate the layer, go to FX Blending Options, click on the word Stroke, and so that it's a little more visible, I'm going to do a 80 border that is red, and then I'll flatten it. I'll Command J. I'll go in you know, Command J. Go to FX Blending Options. I'll click on the word Stroke, and I'll make this one 40 and blue. And I'll Hamburger Flatten. Now what I'll do is I'll go get the Magic Eraser and I'll erase the inside of this. And I'll save this out as border so I can use this in the future. But now, if I go get this image, copy it, I can paste it in here, free transform it, and drag those borders up above it. And I have created kind of a shortcut if I were going to do, if we were going to do multiple photos with borders, this would be the way to do it. Create the borders first, magic erase the outside, and then just bring in the photos and free transform them, putting the borders on top of the photograph and then saving them out. Borders, multiple borders in Photoshop using blending options and the stroke. Hope you found this helpful. Enjoy your photographs. Mm -hmm.